Hey guys, and welcome to Doing Things Stan's Way. So uh, we got to our last campsite, mostly intact, but uh, nothing was left of our vent when we arrived. Thankfully, the weather was great, and we didn't have to do much about it. In fact, I don't think we did anything about it on that trip. Uh, but now that I'm back home, it's time to, to work on this thing. So like usual, went over to Amazon, uh, found a listing for a replacement for this thing, purchased that, got it dropped off. And uh, let's take a look at what's inside. So as you can see here, we have the cover. It uh, came with a, a hinge mechanism and a crossbar. There is some assembly required here. You do have to uh, put in six screws and the little, uh, little rubber washers, actually a little silicone washer and a nut. And you don't want to tighten those down too tight. But you're going to slip that all together according to the nice little guide that was in there. And once you have that all together, uh, you're gonna come back inside the trailer here and you have to do a little bit of disassembly. So in my case, I have a little mesh cover over the top of this. So I'm gonna pull out the two screws that hold the mesh cover on, one screw that holds the little crank on, and then we'll keep going from there. Okay, it looks like uh, taking those screws out wasn't everything. We actually need to take out this whole trim piece on mine uh, to gain access to uh, the little gearbox that's up there. So ultimately we're trying to get to the little two little screws that are on the gearbox and that will let us release uh, the, the mechanism and we can take the uh, top part off and replace it. So let me go ahead and pull off this top bezel. Okay, that led in a surprising amount of light. Let's take out these two screws. Okay, so now that this is released, I can slide this back and pull out this mechanism. Now we can go outside and we can take off the old uh, cover support here and uh, put the new one on, and we'll come back inside here and remount the gear. So I slid it on and bent these tabs out of the way, uh, you know, in this case up to keep the thing from sliding left and right. And now that the hinge is, uh, you know, functioning up and down, it can't slide left or right. We can go back inside and reinstall them out. Okay, now that we are back inside, the cover is on and hinging without a problem. Now we just need to reattach the mechanism. So here is our mechanism. And that's just going to go back up through the hole, and then we need to attach it. And screw that back on. I didn't need to do a second one, but test it out. That seems to be working. Okay, that's most of it. Let me go ahead and throw the, uh, the trim work back on. Well, that's about it for this one. That was a really simple job. That was not so hard. Uh, it took more time for me to get camera angles than it did for me to actually unscrew these six screws, two more eight screws, pull it all apart, get that hinge off and put it back together again. So if you appreciated this, hey, please give this video a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that this is a video worth recommending to others and others will see it. And also if you wanna see more content that I put out about the Trader Life series that I have here or my Highlander Life or other uh, videos I'm working on, hit subscribe down below and you will be notified next time a video comes out. Uh, hit up these videos here for the Highlander Life and the, uh, the Trailer Life series, other things just working on the trailer here. And until next time guys, be blessed.